today's lesson is on two new quadrilaterals for us, trapezoids and kites. It's from Module 7, Lesson 6 in our Reveal Geometry book. And so the first thing we have to understand is what a trapezoid is. A trapezoid is a shape with one set, exactly one set of parallel sides. So one set, if I look over here to the right, one set of parallel sides. Again, those arrows being parallel. So the non-parallel sides we call legs. So the bases are the parallel sides. The non-parallel sides are legs. And so that is a trapezoid. Down here you have something called an isosceles trapezoid. Just like isosceles triangle, isosceles means that two sides are congruent. And so we're going to use this one quite a bit for certain rules because more rules apply. But we will use regular trapezoids as well. So again, you have a trapezoid, so one set of parallel sides, and these are the bases. And then the legs and the isosceles are congruent. And so how do I know it's isosceles? Well, if it or or how do what because it's isosceles, what do I know? If it's isosceles, remember we said isosceles means base angles. Right. Now these have two sets of base angles. We have base angles at the top base and the bottom base. Now it could be drawn sideways, so make sure you know which one the legs are. Basically, this side and this side are parallel, so they're the bases. And so the two angles that touch that parallel side and the two angles that touch this parallel side are congruent. And then we have diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Diagonals are congruent. And the base angles rule, just like in triangles, works both ways. So if you didn't know whether it was isosceles, but you saw base angles were congruent, then you would know it was isosceles. One other thing I'm just now thinking about I should point out is because these sides are parallel, not only are, or this is isosceles, so base angles can grow up, because these sides are parallel, these are same side interior angles. So they will add up to 180 degrees. All right, the same rule because of parallel, these two, not these two, because they're congruent. They might be whatever, but these two in between the parallel lines will also add up to 180 degrees. Right. What's a kite? All right, a kite has uh, two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides, right? Two distinct pairs, right? It's very similar to a rhombus. In fact, a rhombus would be a particular type of kite. These two are congruent and these two are congruent but not necessarily all four, right? Not necessarily all four are congruent. And just like in Aramis, diagonals are perpendicular. I put congruent there originally, it's perpendicular. So these, I drew the picture out here for you. And this picture of a kite, I should probably mark that this side is congruent to this side and this side is congruent to this side. So you know it's a kite. Then the, seg, the, the perpendicular, the diagonals, AC here and BD are perpendicular. And that symbol means perpendicular, which means that's a 90 degree angle right there. Right. And it says exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. And that maybe sometimes is tough to figure out. Exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. And they're the ones that are not between the congruent side. So the, this side is congruent to that side, that's the angle in between. So between the two sides here that are not congruent, that angle, and the two sides here that are not congruent, this angle, those two would be the same. And so let's look at example one here. It says the body of the guitar is a trapezoidal prism. So you see a trapezoid right here. The front face, that's the front, is an isosceles trapezoid, and it gives me all these things for A, B, C, D, A, D, and B, C. If it's isosceles, then 
I know the legs. AD here is a leg, and BC here is a leg. I know the legs are congruent. That's why it's isosceles. So AD and BC are congruent. And so when I go to do this, I set AD for x plus 5 equal to 5x minus 6 from BC. I get 5 equals 1x minus 6 because I subtract 4x to both sides. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I'm going to get x equals 11. Next it says find the perimeter. To find the perimeter, i got to plug x back in. So let's start with AD since that's the one we used. So 11 times 4. 4 times 11 plus 5. 4 times 11 is 44 plus 5 is 49. And so I know AD equals 49, which means BC, because it's the same thing as AD, also equals 49. Then let's do the other two. So we have AB and we have CD. AB is 3X minus 2. Plug the 11 in. 3 times 11. 3 times 11 is 33. Minus 2 is 31. CD. CD is right here. CD is 3x plus 9. Plug the 11 in. 3 times 11 is 33. Plus 9, 42. And then the perimeter. Perimeter is all, in case you've forgotten, perimeter. And you might want to write this down in your notes if you've forgotten. Perimeter is all of the outer edges, all of the outside sides added together. And so the perimeter here is 49 plus 49, plus 31, plus 42, which my calculator here says is 171. And then one quick last one here. It's a little bit different. It doesn't really fit with the other two. Angle C. Angle C right here, and I want to find angle A. Angle C is 72. Well, because it's isosceles, if angle C is 72, right? if angle C is congruent to angle D, so if angle C is 72, angle D is 72. So I know the measure of angle D is 72. And I know because of parallel, because if it's a trapezoid, if it's a trapezoid, then these two sides are parallel. The bases are parallel. I know A plus D should equal 180. And so the measure of angle A is 180 minus 72, or 108 degrees. All right. Next is a similar example. I would like you to pause the video here and give it a try. First, you need to realize it is an isosceles trapezoid and solve for X. So do part A here first. Pause the video and do part A. All right, part A of the U-try here. KN is 3X plus 1.5. Uh, and then LM is 6X minus 7.5. And so I get 1.5 equals 3X minus 7.5. I get 9 equals 3X. And so I get X equals 3 as my answer. For the perimeter, I plug it back in. Why don't you do that right now, if in case you haven't already, and try to find the answer here for part B. Pause the video and find the answer for part B. All right. Again, I plug it back in. So KN would be 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 1.5 is 10.5. And whatever KN is, LM is. I then plugged into KL. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. And last but not least, I plugged into MN. 4 times 3 is 12. I added all of those up and got my answer for the perimeter of 49. Right.
This shape is a kite. So what are my rules of a kite? Well, diagonals are perpendicular. Don't have any diagonals here. One set of opposite side angles are congruent. So N is congruent to L. So that's the first thing I want to remember here is angle N is congruent to angle L. Also, the shape has four sides. So 4 minus 2 times 180 equals 360. All right, 2 times 180 is 360. So the whole thing has 360 degrees in it. Right now I have 71 and 52. So 71 plus 52 equals 123 degrees. And so then I do 360 minus 123 and I get 237. 237 degrees left and these two angles are the same. So take your 237 and divide it by 2. And so each angle is 118.5. And so N and L, or in this case, it's asking for N. The measure of angle N is 118.5. Last example. This one is also a kite. <clears throat> BD. BD. Where is BD? BD. Well, I know B to E is 6. E to D is 24. So segment addition tells me the whole thing, 6 plus 24, the whole thing is 30. And so B, D equals 30. A, C, A, C, A, C, A, E is 12. E, C is 12. And so the whole thing is 24. And now let's find AD. AD is going to be right here, which is part of this right triangle. Now, how do I know it's a right triangle? Because it's a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular. And so I use the fact that it's a right triangle to use Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I don't know what C is. That's 144 plus 576 equals AD squared, which is 720 equals AD. To get AD by itself, if it's squared, I need to put in a square root. And so now I take my calculator. I square root 720, I get 26.8. So this side right here is 26.8. 26.8. That's just terrible handwriting. All right. Then I want to find A, B. And so I'm going to do the same kind of thing here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The C has to be across from the 90. So again, AB has to be the C. And so I'm going to do 6 squared plus 12 squared equals AB squared. 6 squared is 36 plus 12 squared is 144. And so those add to 180. Again, I need to square root to get AB by itself. And my calculator, when I do the square root of 180, it says 13.4. So this is 13.4. Down here it says find the perimeter. Well, I know I have 26.8 or AD, which means CD is 26.8. And AB is 13.4, which means BC is 13.4. And so my perimeter is 80.4 units. Could be inches, could be centimeters. Again, perimeters, all the sides added together. All right, give it a try. Best of luck to you.